It's a question I'm going to direct it at Nick because we're a, a fashion brand, but I think anyone can probably answer this. Um, you guys started when the internet was a very different space, and just by the few hundred people here mm. that put their hands up and said, hey, we've all got an online business. Um, how do we, you know, how do people that are trying to sell online now find their space and get the market? As you said, Nick Robertson, um, anyone can set up, and there's, it's a great space for brands, but that means everyone is. Mm -hmm. And I suppose the second half to that question is, Nick Robertson, again, you said, kind of, I think you said, there can be only one. Um, you know, there will be, we don't have to have local shops on our doorstep anymore. So actually, is it that all us people trying to set up our own online businesses, we will basically end up having to sell to ASOS. You will be the only one left standing. <laughs> um, is, is that kind of where you see it going, or the equivalent of ASOS for 35-year-old men as opposed to 25-year-old men, or, or whatever it might so, be? So I think that's a really good question, and I think um, that we, you know, we're all learning this space. You know, mm. online fashion is really only five or six years old in in kind of real terms. So you know, how can we possibly look into the crystal ball knowing that traditional retail has been going for hundreds if not thousands of years and, and try and kind of predict it. I think, I think the two things, um, you know, fundamental retail and it's irrespective of channel will always be about product and price. So, you know, if you've got a great product and it's the right price, then you will, you know, that, that's always been the, the fundamentals of retail and that, and that will forever be the case. I think the, the bigger debate, you know, is the like of Amazon, is the like of ASOS, or is the like of, uh, you know, eBay the enemy or actually the enabler? Why wouldn't you want somebody to take a lot of the pain away? You know, selling online is one thing, but maintaining a website and building a website and keeping it up to date and then putting in personalization and having a customer care. I mean, the list is endless. You know, are we the enemy? If we're selling your brand at the recommended retail, because there's no point in undercutting, I wouldn't want to, to do that. Uh, and I'm taking all the pain of the the website and all the other bits and pieces I've just talked about, and you're making a sufficient enough margin, you know, maybe that is a bit of the, the future. And one of the conversations I would have is let, let me take that pain away from you. You know, you can, you can make your fantastic product and create the price and get your mm -hmm. supply chain right, but let somebody else take the pain of the real. We can't look at the old world and then compare it to the new world and try and draw the comparison. You just won't. Shoppers won't shop thousands of different online stores. They just won't. So somewhere in all of that is going to be the answer. Mm -hmm.